Hi everybody. I want to show a script that I made and I use to load uh, word creator terrains into Octane Render. So this is one of the sample terrains that uh, are with the word creator. So I just start with this because it's a sample terrain uh, with uh, already some textures uh, and uh, I just have to click bridge export. Bridge export creates a folder in your home directory so in uh, word creator bridge and uh, another subfolder with the name of the project in this case is talus eroded arid 01 and so when uh, word creator has finished uh, exporting let's see 80 percent i wait and uh, okay when uh, the exporting is finished in this folder uh, you have uh, this bridge xml file in octane render you just have to run the script that i made and point to the same file bridge xml and you see i'm in the same folder bridge xml open and now when uh, the script finishes Okay, now it has finished. Uh, you have this node that is a geometry that you can attach to your render. Wait a moment, and here you have the terrain created here is correctly exported with all the textures and so on. If you enter in the node, uh, you can see everything and um, you can see that uh, there are the same material names uh, that uh, you have in Word Creator. So if I go to Word Creator Textures, this is Snow01, Snow01 uh, Snow again. Snow, <laughs> this is, these textures have all the same names, but uh, and so that's why here <laughs> it's always Snow01. But if you change the names, you can find them. And uh, there is also one base color material that contains uh, this uh, PNG that is the, the base color created by Word Creator. And also um, this is made by texture displacement uh, that is very fast. But uh, if you want to have vertex displacement, there is the node already done and so you just have to link the vertex displacement node to the material wait a moment uh, 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 wait a lot because uh, now the texture displacement becomes true geometry and so uh, you have to, to wait that octane computes all the geometry you see we have three subdivision levels and so 12 uh, and half million polygons but this is the same terrain with vertex displacement otherwise uh, uh, usually i use just texture displacement because even if the quality isn't the same it's very fast and you have a, a lot uh, less polygons and so mm, usually uh, this is enough for me uh, but as you can see it's very easy and uh, now you are in Octane and so you can do what you want uh, with your render and, and so on. It, it's just a quick way to import the terrain. So for, let's uh, do an example. If I change, I, I want to change this, I come back to Word Creator, I just uh, click uh, Random Seed, I create uh, a new terrain, let's say 
this one i just wait uh, for the completion now i click again bridge export and i wait Word Creator recreates all the data in the bridge uh, folder. And uh, this is real time, uh, a little patience for the exporting. okay finished now i just have to delete this run the script again point again to the same xml file and in a couple of seconds i have my new terrain here you see it's the same the new version is correctly imported and it works for uh, for the most part of the terrain. Sometimes the materials are not perfect, but uh, um, let's, for example, load uh, another project. Uh, I open uh, um, in the same samples folder. Um, let's open. I don't know, um, Highlands 2, okay, open, in Word Creator, this is Highlands 2, I just click Bridge Export, I wait for the export, meanwhile I go to Octane, I can delete this uh, terrain or I can keep it in another place let's say it, have, it has another name I unlink it let's see if the exporting is finished yes so I run the script again uh, and uh, I go to the Highlands 2 folder bridge XML open and voila this is the other terrain you see is this the textures uh, are, uh, look different uh, and uh, sometimes even uh, the, their positioning is not perfect but uh, it's a good starting point very easy and also uh, here you can see that uh, every um, material has his name and so rock zero one uh, with is normal and it's diffuse the diffuse here is multiplied in the base color to avoid this uh, this white it's only for the first material but you see the other materials uh, are loaded with the, the same textures normal diffuse and uh, even the shading uh, in this material there is no shading but uh, uh, let's for example return to word creator and if i go and ah uh, here there are a lot of textures but uh, let's say that uh, i make a new project uh, uh, no don't save it so let's quickly do some uh, ter new terrain so uh, add the um, canyon uh, canyon sand cover and then close uh, let's add another filter uh, like an erosion uh, okay add and close and now some textures add mm. let's start with grass and then close everything is green i add another texture uh, this one and i just 
choose uh, uh, height select and let's say that it starts at two one and fifty uh, one and fifty here and five hundred here okay a little less yeah eight noise so we have two textures now maybe and uh, for example I just uh, I, uh, I return back to this one I duplicate it and on the duplicate I take a shade shade like this and uh, mm, noise select scale and uh, mm, slope select I'm just trying to, to show the difference okay now I have three textures it's just an example uh, and so uh, when I'm okay I must save the project uh, so I save it as folder structure uh, and I go for a test project save and now I bridge export it okay this one I don't need it uh, let's just rename it run the script again and now I should have a test project a folder bridge xml and here I have my terrain that I just made and you see even if it's the same texture uh, grass o2 in the first instance grass o2 as the diffuse and in the second instance the diffuse is mu multiplied by the color that I chose here as a shade and so I have the same result or, or, or almost the same result and as you can see is a very quick and effective way to, to bring the, the most part of the word creator data into Octane and uh, and now you can do whatever you want, even uh, replace the materials uh, with the octane materials that can look better. And uh, as I said, uh, you can change this uh, texture displacement that uh, maybe uh, is not so good uh, when is uh, close to the camera, but you see there is a there are some artifacts but you can choose to use vertex displacement instead and at the price of a heavier geometry you can have a better result and also i think um, it uh, work uh, well if you have uh, materials with uh, a displacement on their own okay uh, as you see this is uh, the the same displacement uh, put as a vertex and you see now 12 uh, 12 million vertices uh, you can also try to use this auto bump map uh, sometimes it can have uh, 
a better result but not always so i kept it uh, disabled and you see now that these textures are uh, are just uh, are not so good uh, but uh, even the tiling you can change it easily from here uh, you just have to lock and you see you can tile better your textures the the tiling is inherited from uh, the values in uh, word creator so it's the same if you change it in word creator it, it, you will uh, have another result here too and so this is just uh, something uh, i wanted to show because i think it's uh, really easy to import uh, this way i think i can develop it further because uh, for the moment uh, only the eight map and the textures are important so no details uh, no objects and nothing else but uh, for concepting and things like that uh, this is very very easy uh, to use <laughs>